the road to victory! Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Pokemon Fire Red with Lady Friend. What's up? As promised, I did some grinding off screen because we were severely under level for the Elite Four. We were like level 39. So I went a little further than I intended to and it got us to 54. <laughs> um, my bad. I do think some new things were learned. Like, I don't think uh, Lady Sif knew Earthquake at the time. Ashlyn finally learned Slash. Uh, Alpha 5. I didn't. I never got Thunderbolt on Alpha 5 like I wanted to, but I think we can live without that. So, it is time to go through Victory Road. Woohoo! So, this place is like a mini puzzle. It's not a hard one, but it is one nonetheless. So, it does require us to have the Strength TM. Um, to move boulders? Yeah. Basically, we have to move boulders onto um, pressure plates. And here's an onyx. Good thing we have a bulky uh, Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we learned Hyper Beam. That happened. Um, but we're actually going to kind of avoid some of these fights at the moment. Because they are a bit... Um, long. Redundant. Yeah, so we're just going to put down a max repel, uh, considering I, you know, ground for solid hour, and that's with the speed up function. Uh, so, you know, it took a while. It took a while. Because most of the Pokemon I fought were like level 32. Aww. Putting that down will open up, uh, there was a blockade right here. And then we go on over. I think I ran into one trainer on accident in here, so there'll be one person I've already fought, but the rest I was able to avoid. So we will fight Cool Trader Naomi. You notice her name is I Moan backwards? Yeah. No, I didn't. You want to see Hyper Beam? Yes. It's the strongest move I remember right from Generation 1, except for Explosion, but that's cheating. Shooting it's... a bunch of little balls. It used to be a beam. I actually don't like how it looks in this game. It's, it looks weaker. It's just balls. It's not a beam. You can't call it a beam when it, you're, you're peeing. I agree. I agree. I mean, I guess you could be like beam particles, but still, it's kind of like... Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pushing it. I agree. It's stretching. Um, I'm trying to think if we really need... Thunderbolt, and now that I think about it, it would be super helpful. So, once we complete this place, I'm going to uh, see if we can buy it. Crap, I should get off my screen. But yeah, so we are severely out leveling these trainers now. Awesome. Uh, so, here you basically have to pick one. Uh, so, we got Dragon Claw, that's cool. It's actually really helpful. Um, and then, what do you do? I don't know what I'm doing, wasting my. Uh, Oh, that's right, I forgot Dig for Earthquake, so we don't have Dig anymore. So I actually have to walk out, and in doing that, it'll reset um, all the boulders in here. And that'll oh. let us get the other um, item, whatever it might be. So they are different from the original game, because, well, Dragon Claw didn't exist in the original game. So I think this other one's going to be like a healing item, though. If it's a full restore, I'll be stoked. If it's anything else, I'll be like, meh. So this one here, push it that way, then be all subtle like and do that. Boom. Oh, rare candy. Okay, I'll take it. Can use that. I thought you were going to be meh. No, I mean, I'll take it. We have seven rare candies. So that means what do they, do? Uh, they grow your Pokemon one level. Oh. So I'm thinking before the final Elite Four member we can uh, use them to just kind yeah. of give us that final bit. Um, get off my screen, eradicate. War Turtle, definitely don't want you out for War Turtle, so let's get out purple. Um, you can drain your face. Charmeleon, five. We're not gonna do any um, speed up during the Elite Four. I will say that much. I think it'll be really cool to just, you know, fight yeah. them purely through. But um, but these guys are pretty low level. So for here, this you see how on the far top right there's that wall. 
pretty soon we're gonna get mm -hmm. rid of that wall. Okay. Let's push this on over. Get that to there, and then pow! And see, he's gone. So this is the guy I did not avoid. He 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 caught me. Aww. He challenged my face. Sandstorm. I'm not using that one. That's right. We can do this. So I don't need to. Uh, let's get this guy out of the way. Okay, Whoa. he was looking at you wrong. He he was. He was looking at me crossways, and we'd have to. We wouldn't have to fight him anyways. But you know, he's right there. We might as well fight him. Dude, yeah. This guy's a psychic machine. Fuck off my screen though. Um. That ladder's actually the exit for us, so we'll be going there eventually. Ooh, a full heal, that's always handy. It's a we good should, thing. We... Uh, what was that? You tell them about this weekend. What, what, what happened this weekend? What the, fun what we got? What fun could have possibly had wait. Oh! I thought you were meaning Renfair. No, well, I was you mean Pokemon, but you know. So, um, Lady Friend and I have been practicing our uh, Soul Link Nuzlocks together. Uh, we were doing it most recently in black, Pokemon Black. I don't have black and white, so we just both played black. Um, I started off with a Camperit, which is, you know, that camel Pokemon that's ground and fire. So, um, you know, some stuff. Looks like it's a party for life. Yeah, and um, hey, uh, why don't you let them know what you started off with? A motherfucking Mewtwo. That is right. And that's not the first time she's had a legendary either. Um, no. In other Let's Play, in other um, uh, run throughs we've had, she started off with a Rayquaza. You know, that big ass serpent. Um, she's also started off with. I think she started off with something else pretty powerful, right? Yeah. It pretty much one shotted everything. So, I mean, she just, like, keeps catching these legendaries, and it's. It's insane. And I'm just like... Okay. It, it's... I want some legendaries too. I mean, I originally got a Regigigas. <laughs> but my Regigigas, which did not have slow start because, you know, randomizer, so awesome. Basically the strongest Pokemon you could ever have at that point, was linked to a Nidorina. Guess whose Nidorina died? To a Ghastly. Hey, you know what? It, I couldn't run away and I couldn't switch out. That's fair. She did get stuck with a um, mean look, so she couldn't weren't around to switch out, and it did use curse. She'd run out of uh, healing potions at that point, so you know it was it was pretty bad. Luck was not with her at all. Nah. Ooh, a max revive. That's fantastic. Um, so fun fact: in this game, Moltres is no longer in Victory Road. It used to be you would catch one of the legendary birds on your way to the Elite Four. Not really? the case anymore. Yeah, when when we beat the seventh gym and Bill was like, "Hey, you want to go on a boat ride with me?" and we said no, we actually I believe we would have found Moltres over there. But let's be real, Moltres is the shittiest of the legendary birds. Like, I don't know anyone that's actually used him and been happy about it. Overheat. Aww. I mean, he's just not that good of a mon. Like, I'd take him in a Nuzlocke, but I'd be terrified if I ran into a. a rock type because rock moves are quite effective against him. Ooh. Um, let's go Feck, we're gonna have to do that again, unfortunately. Just to so yeah, Moltres would have been right well right there actually. Really? A guard spec? I kinda thought they would put like a a fire thing there. Just to be like, hey look, the legendary used to be here, kind of like, you know, cool thing. But no. nope, they didn't. You lame. And we got the stat raise. Lapras, uh, staying with you is actually risky, so let's just hyper beam your face. Lick your tongue. Ice, right? Um, water more. Well, yeah, both yeah. actually. So we're flying and rock, so ice or water would have fucked us up. Unfortunately, like I said, the puzzles were set. So there it is. But we have these max repels, so it's not that bad. And you pretty much have it memorized. Well, I mean, I've had this memorized for. Possibly two decades. I think I started <laughs> playing Pokemon when I was eight. I'm 28, so <laughs> literally two decades at this point. Yeah, and I don't believe it's changed that much since. Um, that pebble's different. I don't even know <laughs> if that's the case. I think it's exactly the same. Why do you fight you? 
Cool trainer, Alex. Oh god, it's Alexa. Quick, ask her questions. She'll know everything. I'm sorry. I did not understand that. Can you repeat? Damn it, Alexa. Um, can you not do that? I actually don't think that's how she sounds, but. No, no, she sounds like a robot, and thankfully, you do not. So, this real. What are you doing with the level 42 Jigglypuff? Evolve that bitch. Come on. But it, it puts them to sleep at night. I mean, a Wigglytuff could do the same thing. Oh. Yeah, let's bring out Ashlyn. Ashlyn v. Ashlyn. Oh. Slash it up. So, this is a high crit capacity. Uh, by the way, I had a really lucky. Really, just four store. I had a really lucky time where, um,. I kept running into Machokes. Nothing but Machokes in here. And Machoke is a very high um, uh, strength Pokemon. And I I vaguely know how EVs and IVs work. Um, but basically it's a system of the more you, the type of stats the Pokemon you fight have can actually influence the growth you have. So okay. on one of the levels that Ashlyn grew, she got plus seven attack. Wow. Yeah. Oh, she's trying to learn a new move. I didn't. I thought she would be done learning stuff. Um, no, no, she's a pretty smart kid. Attack that hits first and causes flinching. Usable only on first turn. That's only. So it's basically a free attack. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we have slash, which is awesome. Oh, we do have electricity. Yeah, I don't want to learn that. I want to keep bite, so we can have that uh, psychic attack. Yeah, it's like it's very handy. So this is where the wall was. So now we can move past it. Uh, let's use that to repel again. Might as well fight both of these trainers because you know. Oh, big meaty claw! Ah, ba -bam. Oh, what? I mean, have you seen that claw? It's big and meaty. You know what? It'd probably be tasty. Do you know what this Pokemon sounds like? No. Holy world! Whoa. That's Say how it again? sounds. It's really weird. Holy world! It's got a super weird voice, in my opinion. Like, it's always made me kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> it's too human-esque. Yeah. But, I mean, how how else are you going to say that? Well, how would you say it if you were a Pokemon? I don't know, because I only have the real Poliwhirl stuck in my head. Why did I switch out to you? Because um, Teddy. Earthquake? It's not Teddy anymore. It's Lady Sif. She's Wait. a grown lady. Well, that was strong. If really water gun, you should. Why do you have poison Aww. point? Oh god, Blastoise? Uh, no thanks. Um, purple, get out here. Let's, uh, just blast the fuck out of it. That's right, Blastoise. Blastoise. You're blasting off again. Um, but I think Ashlyn's Ashlyn doesn't have the highest uh Do I not have any antidotes? I'll have to use a full heal. Yeah. Uh so Ashlyn doesn't have the highest attack, but it's pretty high considering the gains we made. So like yeah. 161 attack. Uh But she's fast, right? Yes. Look at that defense. 152. It's fucking bulk city. This one has oddly high attack. It's the same as its special attack. It's insane. Huh. So our Starmie is actually stronger than our, our uh, Ashlyn in basically every way except for speed. <laughs> Ouch. And slightly less health. Our Marowak is a really defensive Pokemon in both, a in both senses. Really great special defense. So we'll likely be using her against Psychic types. Um, but yeah, that is our strategy. So Why? Why would you have that? Why? Evolve it into a weeping. Okay. Are you one of those weird trainers that has like each line, like each step of the line? Uh, yep. Here's a victory bell. Are you gonna have the the Otis Oh, Paris and Parasect, I assume. Yep. Okay. So you're just a uh, you're just a a bug trainer that or weird bug grass trainer. That's uh, interesting. Once a baby, once a mama. That's fair. I don't know. So what we have to do here is push this in. And oh, then really? Follow it. And 
and we will be able to get rid of that uh, wall right there. It's just a straight shot, and we are basically done with Victory Road. It's pretty easy in Gen 1. I'm wondering if this is... Oh, good. It's a double battle. I love these. Oh! Well, that's a cool team. Okay. Okay, um, I can dig this. So close to Moonstone. Oh, right, right. Um, where we were at when she died to, um, when she died to the Ghastly with her Nidorina was like one combat away from getting a Moonstone to where she couldn't turn into a Nidoqueen. And it would have just been, you know, bulk city from there on out. And, but it was just such bad luck. Such bad luck. Um, I should not have had it in my forefront. Yeah, I mean, it, there's really nothing you could have done. I mean, well, it was unfortunate because, you know, Ga the only thing you had with that Pokemon to hurt the Ghastly was Poison Sting. And Ghastly is a poison type, so it was like, you yeah. weren't going to you weren't gonna out damage it attacking you with Nightshade and you taking the curse damage since it's a fourth of your health. So, I mean... It's, it wasn't your fault. That's why I wasn't mad. I was just, like, sad to lose my Regigigas, Aww. but I wasn't mad at you. I'd be silly to be mad at you. I don't know. Did I fight you on accident? You should pride yourself having bowed your way through Victory Road so courageously. In recognition of your feet, I'll teach you... Oh! I don't want to learn hey. Double Edge. Double Edge hurts us. 